Hey guys, it's Artist Adventures here and welcome back to the channel. So I'm just outside of Leek and I am making my way over to Wales because tomorrow I'm going to be doing my first ever rally. And so I'm headed out on my MT-03. It actually just got serviced the other day, had its first service, everything was fine. And you might be able to notice something a little different about the bike. We've got this bad boy on the back. So it wasn't the cheapest, but I'm um, happy to say I've now finally got some luggage for the bike. So I don't have to lug around that big North Face backpack everywhere. Um, I've been riding for a bit now with it. This is the first time I've used it and it feels so much better. It's so much nicer not having all that weight on your back. So I'm really chuffed with it. I did also buy some heated grips as well, but it seemed like a bit of a faff to install and I just ran out of time to do it. I started taking bits off the bike. So like I took this bit off, this bit off. Uh, and then I was like, where do I plug the wires in? I couldn't figure it out and I was running out of time. So in the end I left it. So anyway, let's jump on the bike and we can go and head over to Wales. <music> So it's saying we'll get there about 10 past four, which is pretty much in line with when I want to arrive. I was aiming for four. I can show you where we're going. Uh, let's see. And then here we are. So we're going to this hotel in Abergavenny is how I think you say that. Abergavenny. The Abergavenny Hotel. And that is also the start point for the rally, or the route I've picked. And then from there we're going to be heading up this way. So yeah, it's about 1.48, we'll get there at 10 past 4. What I have noticed is that the oil light has started flashing on the bike. But obviously it's brand new, it's literally just had its service at 600 miles. So I think it's actually a reminder to change the oil. Or you know, get it in for a service. But obviously we've already done that. So I don't think it's anything to worry about, but I would like to reset it if I can so I'm just going to google and try and figure out how to do it quickly okay so it says we need to select the oil change trip meter and then push the reset button is it this okay it stopped flashing I think we've done it all right it's gone okay so we don't need to worry about that now all right that's the oil light sorted one thing I need to get used to still is having this extra weight on the back even though I've ridden with the backpack before, it just feels a bit different. Especially when I'm doing like slow maneuvers. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Head on out. And make some progress. Let me give you guys a bit of an update then on what's going on. So one of you lovely viewers, Cloudmaker, gave me the idea of trying out the National Road Rally for Wales. And I was um and ah about it for a bit and I thought, you know what, that actually sounds like quite a lot of fun. Oh man, that van's got so many fumes coming out the back, it stinks. <laughs> God, I'm choking. There it goes, stinky van. And then 10 days before the event, you are sent a PDF that has, I think, 50 points total in it. And what you have to do is essentially plan your own route around those points. And then as long as you follow the rules and you go to all the points you're supposed to, you get an award. So you can do bronze, silver, gold or platinum. And each one is basically more difficult than the other based on how many points you have to go to. So... For example, I'm going to try for gold, which might be a little ambitious for my first rally. I don't know, I just wanted to go for it. So I'm going to need to try and get to 12 numbers and three letters uh, and the record control points. So some are numbers, some are letters. There's a lot more numbers and letters. And that's why, yeah, you need to try and get to 12 numbers, three letters for gold. You can start wherever you want and end wherever you want. But if you're going for platinum, then you do have to start at a specified location. I've tried to plan the route so that it will be the shortest amount of distance at the same time I've tried to plan it so that I, where I end is like closer to home 
but this also meant that the start point was pretty far away so what I've decided to do is get to the start point and stay overnight that way I can make sure like I get a good night's sleep and it means that I have to do actually less driving for the day I know some people I think like Cloudmaker are able to just ride and ride and ride and ride but I thought for me and because it's my first one I'd rather uh, stay over for the night and then yeah I'll be but I'm literally right at the start point where the hotel is you walk out the door but you're, I'll be at the first control point I can make, also make sure that the app is working correctly because you have to log it all through an app I did think about putting my phone on the handlebars to log log everything and log the app but the problem with that is I put my old phone on my handlebars some of you guys will know this story so sorry if I slip it again but yeah I had it on the old handlebars and the vibrations from a motorcycle actually damage the camera so now when I open the, the camera app on the iPhone it just starts vibrating like it's going to explode it's something to do with like the image stabilization the thing in the phone that does the stabilization is like messed up so when it's trying to stabilize the image it's just like constantly vibrating so just to give you guys a warning if you're going to mount your phone to the handlebars I would consider getting like a vibration dampener I think it's called um, and that way your phone shouldn't get damaged but yeah so I ended up buying a new phone in the end and I really don't want to break this one so I decided to leave it in my pocket it does mean that it'll, I'll probably take a bit longer at each control point to actually stop and lock it in the app but that's all right you know, I don't mind that there are also rules on how many breaks you have to have so I think you need to have a total of one hour's break and you also have to have breaks of a minimum of 15 minutes I think it was I'm going to reread that before tomorrow I also ended up rushing the route a little bit I have put it onto my GPS but yeah like I said I did feel like I was rushing it a little and I haven't properly looked through it it makes sense in theory but I would like to just double check I need to think about like where I'm going to get petrol as well the good thing is though that if we get to like a certain amount of locations where we've done bronze and we've done silver and we feel like it's getting late or you know it's all going wrong or whatever then you can actually stop and you'll get that award so you can go for gold if you don't make it you can get silver but I think if you go over and go to too many locations you actually wouldn't get anything again I'm going to reread this tonight before I set off my initial feelings are that it's going to be a good fun I think maybe some bits will be a little hard and maybe I'll start getting a bit tired near the end but that's all like the fun of the adventure and I love that it's like a really good excuse to go on a long ride so I'm looking forward to it a lot Just stopped off to get some fuel just outside of Birmingham. I think it was called the Frankly Services. And then I didn't stop for long. Just got the fuel. Now we're gonna go back on the motorway. Nice full tank. And the same we'll get there. 436, so falling behind a little. But not too bad. So about an hour and 15 minutes left, and um, we should be there. So it looks like we are in Wales, I think, we're nearly in Wales, we're only half an hour away.
Shimmer.